Oh. Our president, Mohamed Obari, is out of the country yet again on a medical trip. Now the president has traveled to London. We learned he traveled on Sunday night to the United Kingdom. Just less than 24 hours after the release of about 82 Chibo girls, maybe ladies, from the den of Boko Haram terrorists. My name is Amlari Okwala and this is Street Gist on Niger.com. Today we want to ask Nigerians what exactly they think about the president's departure to the United Kingdom on another medical trip. Do you think it's a good idea that our president keeps leaving the country uh, for such things or you think it's just normal for a person who is indisposed to seek medical attention outside the country? We're going to find out from Nigerians exactly what they think and we'll give you the feedback. Uh, not that much. I don't, he's been traveling, so if he's ill, he has to travel. That's all I can say. Why does he have to travel outside the country? That's the problem. That's, uh, I think he's aware of embezzling our money as well, so I don't know. I really, I can't, I think it's a bad thing to do for a president. You know, we should have such hospitals in this country, but if he feels he wants to travel out for that, good and fine. I, it's not my business. Whether he goes or he stays, it's not my business. I don't know. Why, why is it not your business? You're a Nigerian, aren't you? I, <laughs> that, my business is not to monitor the president. My business is to make my money. That's all. So it doesn't matter whether the president is spending your money on Let medical... Spend it. We know how to get our money back. No wahala, no, no, no problems. But 2019 is there, and some people are asking him to come back in 2019. You say what? 2019 is almost there, and people are asking him to come back in 2019. <laughs> I've never voted before. I've never voted. So if he comes back, fine. If he doesn't come back, fine. Why are you not voting? Are you not in Nigeria? My brother, Nigeria, the issue of Nigeria is not my problem. Okay? I, I, I have my own problems. He has, he has his own problems. We Nigerians generally, we have our problems. So I don't think a monitoring president or whether he comes back or not is my problem. It's not my problem. Um, that's but it's um, a sorry state. Sorry state, how? Yeah, it shows how um, they've turned Nigeria into that generation, their generation, they've turned Nigeria, how they have turned this country into. Um, it's bad, it's bad. With so much billions of naira spent on budget for the state clinic, yet um, everybody, including head, the very first man of the country, keeps traveling out for medical attention. It's poor, it's bad. Okay, so what do you think should be done going forward? Do you want me to hear my view? For me, if I think what should be done to change everything is a revolution. Seriously. Because we... Are you ready to lead it? <laughs> it's not just one man. I'm not the only person that will say, okay, let's... Somebody should start it. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody should start it. And when you're going to fight, um, let's say your family wants to fight another family, you don't just come out. You come out as a family and you fight. So when you say, if I should lead it, I can't just come out and lead it. Come on, I'm one man among how many millions of youths. If the youths, there are various ways anyway, if the youths can stand in one voice and say, okay, um, our vote, either that way, or you say, um, we are all demanding this. Like you see some other countries, I think in Venezuela now, they even do um, a revolution in Venezuela. Um, South Korea did one and they made their president step down. That kind of a thing, but you see, um, you see so many voices among the youths. We're not united. If anybody, some of us will greedy. We just want that daily bread. If one of them, one of them calls us now, okay, come and take, and we keep quiet and we support them, no matter what the shit they do. Sorry for using that word, anyway. But it's just the thing. Okay, but let me ask you: Do you pray for the president at all? Do you pray for why him? Why should I? I should. Why should I pray for him? Why should you not? <laughs> but what's the reason for praying for him? Is, is it, they said he's ill and healthy, right? Okay. Now he went for medical checkup. If you are going for medical checkup, why should I be praying for you? I shouldn't. There are better things to pray for. But he said he went on medical um, trip. Vacation, indefinite medical vacation, right? Um, it's vacation now. When you go out for vacation, you don't have to pray for you. If you are going for vacation with your food, you have to pray for you to have. Well, if you're going to enjoy yourself, you're going to enjoy yourself. But he's not going to enjoy himself. I don't know about that. I don't know. It's funny, I don't know. But it's, it's, it shows that we're in serious trouble. And I think, it's, when I say it's God's grace that is keeping us like this, still making, if it's other countries, I think uh, it would have been worse. But I don't know, somehow, we're just still 
We're just a year. Uh, I don't think it's fine. Um, I actually believe that we have qualified doctors in Nigeria. And whatever anus that is affecting him, I believe there are doctors in Nigeria that can treat him. So if he's always going there, flying over, and, and at the same time, he's putting the states in a kind of... We're, we're not able to see our president. He's always going out. So he's not giving us that necessary attention. I believe that we have doctors here that can treat him better. Like me, I'm just writing German. I want to study medicine. So you want to treat the president better than... <laughs> I believe that um, if we, we Nigerians, it's not say we are not smart, we are smart. What they are doing over there is not different from what we are doing here. So at least the president should show some concern and we need more of his presence here. So we won't feel like we're in a state of insecurity. Not that we'll be hearing that every time our president has gone out, our president has gone out. Well, uh, you know, he's the executive president of the country. Uh, uh, nobody can stop him traveling. Since he's not heard, he needs uh, uh, some attention, medical attention. So he has the right to travel out, but he has been traveling so much, so much time, so many times, which is not necessary. Uh, I wish if he understands Nigeria's suffering this time, he has to look at us. There are many, many hospitals here that he can take care of. Him. Or the best thing for him is to, on medical ground, he has to hand over to the next person and say enough is enough for governance. Yeah? You need to hand over to the vice president and go and rest, finally. Right. Because you're putting Nigeria into poverty and suffering, all that things. Right. That is my advice. I guess we all know why he's out, he's health. So, yeah. Why London? Why not Nigeria? Nigeria. We all know the health system in our country is not... Aye, it's, it's of low standard, we all know that, and it starts with them in power, so if they can't put it in place, if they are using hospitals outside the country, we all know that. We, the poor men, we normal people, if we are allowed to, if we are placed to put people um, use the hospitals here, meaning Nigerian hospitals are not standard, simple. Have you paid for the president? I yes. When last did you pay for Uh, On Sunday, when I prayed for the country. <laughs> Yeah, on Sunday. So, um, today is Tuesday. Or what day is it now? And then, Tuesday. and then looking at the days. Mm. So you haven't paid for the president since Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Nigerian. I'm leaving. I don't need the president to do anything at this moment. I'll pray for him anytime it comes to my mind. He's our president. We all love him, yeah. But it's when I remember. Truth, truthfully, yes. First and foremost, as an individual, I know that um, it is very important for us all to check our health status. But at the same time, um, a leader of a country, it's not wrong for him to go out there to treat himself. But um, because he's a leader, um, I think it's also proper for Nigerians to know the status of his health. We don't hate him, we love him, you know. Um, but I think right now, this man is aged and um, I believe he should be in his resting place. At that age, he should have retired. I think government even puts a particular age for retirement. So at this point, he should not be overstressing his, his um, body. He should be resting and um, probably hand over to Osi Banjo, who is the vice. And I believe um, when he was away at a period of time, Osi Banjo was very active and I must commend him for his efforts. That's why he's advised to assist him. So Bari can please, um, at this point, um, go treat himself and let someone else who is also capable of taking up the responsibilities uh, <laughs> go ahead with it. Thank you. I think that's what I have. You prayed for the president today. Do you pray for him? Well, yes, I do. And, um, well, it saddened me when I actually saw the um, pictures, even on Nige.com, um, about he, um, the difference in his health status. You could see that he was a bit chubby, and when he returned, he was a bit... Um, yes. So, um, I pray for him, and I pray. Really, I'm a human being now. Many of us sometimes fall ill. So, I actually pray that um, he gets out of the condition he, in, in which he's in, and he gets better, but he should go rest. I think it's time for him to rest. The president of the country now, we've not heard of anything. We don't know about his ex status. 
even the, everybody in the sector is wondering what's happening to the president. But we just kept it dark. That's Nigeria for you. I wish something could be done. But personally, I wish the president could just, the so-called presidential body, you should just come out and just tell us what's really happening to the president. Is he sick? If he's sick, he should delegate the power to Oshimba Joe. Then we know, at least the king of Saudi Arabia actually was ill for some time. And then the... Uh, the vice, the vice king was actually deputizing for him, and it's fine. But this one, Nigeria, today you hear Aisha Buhari saying, "My president is having a missing." Tomorrow, Zara Buhari is actually talking. Oshimbajo is talking. Who is the president? Who is leading the country? I pray Nigeria actually ill of this calamity. Okay, one more question. Do you pray for the president? I do pray for the president. At least God is the president. But I can't pray if I don't know what's doing the president. He should. Walishin Kat said told something in, in the daily some few days ago. The president should come out and tell us what is actually happening to him, because he's an official man. For as long as you are in Asu work, you are not a private entity again. You are a public entity. Everything that's happening to you must be well known to us. I hope we we'll get there. It's a good idea because you need. You must have a rest, and then the health is is important thing in life. When there's no head, I don't want to. I don't want to to lead us. When do you have a head? You you able to bring something to another that that's, this one I want to do, this one I want to do. That's what I can see there. But you think it's a good idea that like he's traveling to London? It's all this. good. It's good. It's good. It's good to. It's good. It's good. It's travel abroad. To travel abroad, to make the head to stronger and then to come back and continue the job he's doing. That's nice. Well, personally. I would say that I'm very glad that he has traveled out of the country. Uh, first of all, he's old, he needs the rest. Let him rest, I beg. And let people that are, you know, of sound mind and body take over the, the affairs of, of the country. Because whatever the government achieves, it's still to the credit of the Buhari administration. So let it be that way, please. Eh? You know, so that things go faster. I believe Osibanjo is in the right uh, capacity to handle things if uh, the rest of the administration cooperates with him so i think uh, it's a good it's a good idea let him stay there okay till he's perfectly okay even if it takes till 2019 we're fine with that oh really yeah yeah we're very fine you think that. it's a bad idea for the president to leave the country to seek medical attention abroad it's 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 a slap on the um on the medical sector in nigeria but it's the reality that we are facing i mean what can what can we do the privileged you have a headache you you abandon the hospitals we have here and you run to London or United States for checkup, so that's the reality we're faced with. So I'd say um, it's an indictment on the medical sector, but it's not exactly their fault. I'd still say it falls back on the government to uh, do what they need to do to make, you know, our our stuff uh, at par with what is obtainable in the global scene. But we don't have that, unfortunately. But if there's strong political will, it can be done. Nothing is impossible. It's just lack of strong political will by successive governments. So that's it. I think if you are sick, you need to get help. That's what I think about it. So you need to get help abroad? Yes, yes, yes. Why does it have to be abroad? Um, I think to get the kind of help that he, he needs, maybe I think he, he can't get it here. So he has to go. He has to go. Sorry. He has to go. He has to go outside Nigeria to get it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but have you considered the fact that he traveled outside Nigeria about less than 24 hours after the release of the Chiba girls? Uh, I, he, him leaving has nothing to do with the release of Chiba girls or not. We all know he's, he's not feeling fine. We all know he's not good. Yeah, but the timing of his departure and um, the release of the girls. Well, what, what are you trying to insinuate? Are you saying... He has something to do with it. I don't know, that's what I'm asking you. No, 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 no. It, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> really? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like you're sure about it, you're certain? I'm not certain, but I'm sure about it. Some people say Chibot girls kidnap is a scam. Is a scam? Uh, you saw the pictures now. Where did they get those pictures? I don't, I don't think know. A, I don't think it's a scam. <laughs> I don't know. What do I know? I'm in Lagos now. Like the, like the two of us did Lagos here now. Hey, hey. All right. Oh, there's nothing I think that to be praying for this country. We need prayer for this country. There's nobody can do it except God. So we need prayer. That's my... Okay, but when last did you pray for the president? It's prayer we need for him. Have you prayed for him? We have been praying in the church. Have you prayed for him? Me? 
I'm praying. I'm a pastor of my church. When last did you pray for him? Sir? When last did you pray for him? Praying for him last Sunday. This last Sunday. The Sunday, two days ago. Yes, yes, two days ago. We pray for him. For his uh, healing. Because we need him. And we love him. And country loves him too. Because what he's doing now is good. So we need his prayer for him to heal him totally. And, and I believe uh, his vice president was still praying for him. Because he, they are working together. So that's my hopes. So you believe what the president is doing in the country is good? Yes, it's good. It's good. And everybody that loves this country as it is, they know that you are doing the right thing and good things. So what we need is to pray. I believe prayer doing things, many things, change many things. And we need this country for every one of us to receive Christ. That's what we need. We need Christ. If you allow Christ to walk, everything will be okay. Right? If you do good, if I do good, everything. The Bible says, uh, the proverb said, uh, charity begins at home. The English said, charity begins at home. Uh, if church good, is everybody doing a well in the church? Uh, I believe this country will be good. Thank you very much. We need prayer. Thank you very much. You too. Cry to receive Jesus as your Lord and Pastor said. I will. It will be okay. I will. Bless you. Amen. Thank you. Uh, it can happen to anybody now. But he traveled abroad again. He's ill. He's not hairy. He's sick. So he went for medical. I he wants to treat himself, to take care of himself. In London? Yes. Okay. So it's good for our president to go to London to take care of himself? It's good now, since we don't have facilities at home, and he believes that he has best hand to take care of him over there. But why don't we have the facilities? Uh, he's still the government. And also, he does not trust people here. You know how our government, they don't trust the followers, they don't trust the people because they don't treat them well. And also there are some secrets they are covering, so they don't want people to know much about their state of health. So, you know, you understand, man. But do you pray for him? I pray for him. I'm not praying for him, but I wish him. You're not praying for recovery. him? Uh -huh. So Why are you not praying for him? He's not your president. He's my president. So why are you not praying for him? Uh, have I finished praying for myself? How, much, how many times have I prayed for myself? I wish him he, he recover soonest. So now that you have told me now, so anytime I remember, I can pray for him. But so I won't be praying for him. Uh, I'll tell you like. Uh, mm. Okay, so you, but from now you start praying for the president. Yes, if I'm saying my prayer and I remember him, I will pray for him. That is when you remember, or if you remember. When, if I remember. So if you don't remember, yes, he's on his own. Exactly. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, Nigerians seem not to be happy about the state of things in the country right about now. Some people have said they don't even pray for the president. Someone said, why should I pray for him? Another one said, well, I wish him well, but I don't pray for him. But right now, we are going to be praying for him. Well, that's all about that from Nigerians on the streets today. Special thanks to Emmanuel Sodi and David Tokpekupola for doing fantastic jobs behind the camera. Make sure that you guys out there um, are watching this right about now. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, and keep watching Night.com TV. Until I come your way some other time on the streets, nice your luck. <laughs>